Hey everybody, I am Jared Clark with Air Guns of Arizona, and today we're gonna to be taking a quick look at every single air rifle that Daystate has available to you, the consumer. If you're looking for a more in-depth review, you can check out the links in the descriptions below, and you can see an in-depth review of every single rifle. But what I'm gonna give you today is a quick snapshot of every single Daystate rifle that's available. Let's go. Daystate Air Guns has been making pre-charged rifles for over 40 years now. And as you can see in front of me, they have culminated some really good looking pieces over the years. What we're gonna do today is show you all of their pre-charged rifles, and we're gonna show you some of the things they have in common, some of the things that make them unique, and hopefully answer some questions for you if you're wondering which Daystate Air Rifle would fit you. Right out of the bat, you can see there's a lot of different stock options and colors and lengths. The one common denominator that all of these guns have, other than being pre-charged, is that they are all a side lever operation. So you can see they all have this nice little actuating arm coming off the side. What makes that nice is it's easy to operate. It's very simple. It makes cycling the rifle very easy. You can also reverse the handle and bring it to the left side with just a few screws, which makes the platform very friendly to both side shooters, left-handed and right. So along with being side lever, every rifle in front of me does utilize a match grade Lothar Walter barrel. Day States have been using Lothar Walter barrels and Lothar Walter has a long standing reputation in the industry. So match grade Lothar Walter barrels, side lever operation, pre-charge pneumatic power. That is what all of these Day States in front of me have in common. Now let's look at them model by model and find out what makes each model unique. Daystate manufactures four different models. They make the Revere, the Wolverine R, the Red Wolf, and the Delta Wolf. And within each one of those models, there's different stocks, configurations, and calibers that are available. And we'll get into all of those details shortly. Starting on my far left over here, this is the what they call the Daystate Huntsman Revere. This platform can be traced back pretty much as long as day state. They, they've been making either the Huntsman, the Regal, or the Revere in some form or another for about as long as they've been making air guns. And there is a very good reason for that. And it is the simplicity of this rifle. I'm just gonna pick it up here. It is a very, as you can see, it's not a long gun and it has a very traditional look to it. The sporter style stock is very comfortable for all kinds of shooters and it makes it very easy operating for any size, any skill level. This just covers all of your bases for day state. This gun is the one gun, if you can only have one specific gun for air gunning and you need it to cover everything you could do in your backyard, this one's been around for a very long time because of that. The Revere itself, it comes in two options with a regulated and an unregulated option. The regulator sits up in the tube right here and what it's gonna do is monitor the amount of air that's used. So it's not integral to operation or even integral necessarily to um, accuracy and performance because the unregulated version, as you can see over here, looks the same, functions the same. It's just that when you shoot it in front of a chronograph, your consistencies on the regulated version should be a little bit tighter. So as we can see, the unregulated Revere looks identical to the regulated. The only difference is gonna be up here. It, it doesn't have a regulator here. So you're gonna use a quick connect up front to fill it. Whereas the regulated version uses a fill probe because the, the regulator sits in the air cylinder there. So just looking at them, you really cannot tell a difference between the two, but it is available in the two configurations, the unregulated as well as the regulated. Both great options and you really can't go wrong with either one of those. These guns are available in 177, 22, and 25 caliber. Respective energy output is 18 foot-pounds in 177, 30 foot-pounds in 22 caliber, and 45 foot-pounds in 25 caliber. 
They come with beautiful walnut stocks. These are right or left hand specific and they're available in both, but you have a nice cheek comb here that will accommodate one side. And like we said, the bolt can be flipped. So this gun can be ordered as a true left-handed setup or a true right-handed setup. Moving up the scale, the next up on the list is going to be the Daystate Wolverine R. And that is these two right in front of me with these laminate stocks. So they do offer another configuration, which is the walnut that I have here. So you have three stock configurations in the Wolverine R, and then you have also two power configurations. You can see this green one right here has a shorter barrel. This one utilizes an 18.6 inch barrel, Whereas this high power in my hands here utilizes a 24 inch barrel. So it's longer, but you get more power is the idea. High power, standard power. Um, and as you can see, these are now bottle fed guns. They no longer have the long cylinders that, that the Revere's had. So you get more shots per fill without adding any weight to the gun. So this gun, as you can see, its footprint is bigger. But like we said, you get more shots and you get more power. The Wolverine R is a mono block and it is all mechanical. So this gun is fixed power. It'll give you great accuracy. It'll give you great shots per fill, um, but it is gonna be fixed power. There's not a lot of adjustment. This would be for the person who wants a gun that obviously looks great with the green lamb, gray lamb, and the walnut options, but then always shoots where you left it. The kind of gun that you just pick up, point and shoot, that's this Wolverine R right here. Not really made to be tinkered, it's just made to perform. And when you use it that way, it'll put a smile on your face every time. And the Wolverine platform, you have four calibers that are available, 177, 22, 25, and 30 caliber. In terms of power output, you have high power and you have standard power. So in standard power, in 177, you'll get 18 foot pounds. In 22, you'll get 30 foot pounds. And in 25, you will get 45 foot pounds. In the high power configurations, you have 177 will get 30 foot pounds. 22 can get up to 50 foot pounds. 25 will get you up to 55 foot pounds. In the high power configuration, there is also a 30 caliber option that's available. If you want a regulated version, you top out at about 70 foot pounds. If you go unregulated, you can get the Wolverine all the way up to 100 foot pounds of energy and 30 caliber. So an unregulated configuration, you can really get a absolutely hard hitting Wolverine R that'll put out 100 foot pounds. So if you do any kind of hunting or pest elimination, you know that that number is serious business. It, it, it is a workhorse and that's how I kind of view the Wolverine. It's, it's a great tool to have and it can be a very, very helpful tool when needed. The Daystate Red Wolf is one of Daystate's most popular rifles. It's available in three stock configurations at the moment. We have the beautiful Red Laminate, which is the original, I would say, the Red Wolf and the Red Laminate. That was the original stock. The other ones that have come over the years would be this absolutely gorgeous Safari stock, they call it. The camera never does this one justice. Um, it's it's a they take a, the finishing process on it is almost, they scratch the wood, if that makes sense, but it has such a unique and cool feel. I've never seen a gun stock like it. I, I think it's awesome. It looks good. And then the rigidity and how it feels is just awesome. So the Safari stock is one of the newer options from Daystate. Really cool look, really cool feel. Safari option, red option. And the last, but most certainly not least, is the traditional walnut. So Daystate makes some of the most gorgeous walnut stocks on the planet. They use Manelli high Turkish grade walnut stocks here. And as you can see, none of them are slouches. So Red Lamb, Safari, traditional walnut, the Red Wolf has you covered any style you wanna dress it up in. All right, so the Daystate Red Wolf, Daystate's flagship rifle, arguably, if you have followed Daystate over the past couple years, you would know that their competitive shooting team is called the Wolf Pack. And there's a very good reason for that. This gun was the culmination of 40 years of learning and getting experience and also incorporating new technology and futuristic technology, in my opinion. Um, the gun utilizes an electronic firing system. So instead of having springs and mechanical hammers and everything that you set, this gun has the ability to do it all with a solenoid system. So you can create the same effect of slamming a hammer with a, with a spring and opening the valve, 
all into a system that is electronically regulated. It opens and closes faster than I can have a thought go through my head. And it's capable of producing some serious power and accuracy. The gun has a computer. We're looking at a computer right here in the gun. It takes a lot of the variables out and just does a lot of the work for you, which is what a computer does. It's what a computer is meant to do. So if you're afraid of this technology, I understand it, and that's why they have the Wolverine R here as the option for mechanical lovers, but it is the future. This gun is incredibly futuristic and has the ability to lock time and snap a pellet out the barrel, unlike anything you've ever done with a mechanical rifle. Another benefit to the electronic firing cycle with this gun is the ability to quickly manipulate the power levels. Each gun, be it high power or standard power, has three different power settings. So you have a high, a medium, and a low that can be manipulated very easily and quickly in about five seconds you can change from shooting on high power at 65 switch it to low power shooting at 30. So it really does give you some computer-like abilities in that because no other gun on the planet allows you to switch that much power. You know, no springs, no nothing to adjust. Everything can be done very simply in a matter of seconds with uh, literally changing a setting in your computer. So it gives you a lot of options in terms of power that many other guns can't, and it's gonna give you that electronic firing cycle. So electronic regulation, power, all of that. A lot of things electronics can give you that standard mechanical guns can't. The triggers are absolutely out of this world. The accuracy is absolutely insane, and it's a pretty lightweight gun for how much power and um, capabilities you have. So the Red Wolf is the heavy hitter for Day State, and it has the resume to prove it. Multiple wins across different challenges. It was our most recent 2021 EBR Extreme Bench Rest winner. Highest score out of everyone in the United States at 100 yards was shot with this gun right here. So it also took home gold medals in the Extreme Field Target, both in the Sniper Division and in the Open Division. So this gun is their flagship rifle, and there's a reason for it, because it's well decorated. So technical data on the Red Wolf, it's available available in 177, 22, 25, and 30. It's available in standard power and high power. And the big difference between those two is the barrel length again. So just like the Wolverine R, the standard has an 18.6 inch barrel. The high power has a 24 inch barrel. So you get more power, but you also have a longer gun. In 177, you can get up to about 20 foot pounds of energy. In the 22 caliber, you can get 45 foot pounds of energy. In 25 caliber, you can push up to 50 foot pounds of energy. Then going to the high power in the 177, you can get up to about 35 foot pounds. In the 22, we're pushing about 65 foot pounds on these. 25s can get upwards of about 65 to 70, and the 30 calibers can get about 85 foot pounds. So that is an electronic system that is seriously producing some power. So if you've ever had the idea or you've seen one and thought, I'm afraid of that electronic gun, I, I don't want another variable, there are thousands of shooters that have been shooting this gun for years and years and years now. Daystate has a solid platform there, and if you're afraid of it, I would encourage you not to be, and if you haven't tried one, I would encourage you to try one. They're a lot of fun and they're unlike anything you've ever done before. Last, but most definitely not least, we come to the Daystate Delta Wolf. As you can tell, it still has the wolf mentality, so this gun also is upper echelon. This is their newest rifle, and it is packed with the most futuristic technology that has ever been put in any gun, in my opinion. Air rifle, real rifle, this is the most futuristic rifle on the planet. So I'm gonna show you right now, obviously looking at it, it's available in two colors. We have black and the bronze. The rifle is available in two power configurations. You have the high power, which is what we're looking at here. Even though it's a compact rifle, that's a 23 inch barrel in it. It just brings it all the way down the gun. That really tips its hand in it being the newest because it is the most tactical looking. And that's where everybody seems to be going is that tactical look and Daystate hit a home run here. So the Delta Wolf has the most recent technology. It is electronic, just like the Red Wolf. So the Wolf family indicates that they're all electronic. What this one has, other than obviously just a different configuration being smaller, is along with the firing computer inside, you have a chronograph that you can't even see that sits right here in the shroud. And that measures 
the velocity of the projectile leaving the barrel, and then it does something really cool. It talks to the computer, and it allows you to dictate the velocity of that projectile. So you have an onboard computer in this gun that you can tell, hey, I'm shooting 33 grain pellets, and I want them to go anywhere between 750 and 950 feet per second, maybe even a little more, maybe even 1,000 feet per second. And you can dictate that just by hitting this touch screen right here on the side. You can manipulate the velocity of the gun with your finger. It is the most futuristic thing I've ever seen. It's insane to me that the technology is to that point. And then making calculations, making adjustments, doing things that we couldn't even comprehend in a matter of seconds, and it makes it so easy that even I could figure it out. So along with having two barrel lengths, you have four calibers that you can choose from. 177, 22, 25, and 30 cal. And within those, each gun can be set up in whatever caliber you want. You have to change two hard parts, the barrel and the bolt probe. And once those are changed, you can tell the computer what caliber you're shooting and it will take care of everything else. So you can do a platform with four calibers. And as long as you can slide your finger over and know the difference between 2.2 and 2.5, you have the ability to have four different calibers in one gun. This gun is as futuristic as it can get and it allows you to be multi-platform for the first time truly in any air gun. So with the ability of changing just this barrel and this bolt probe, let's see, that bolt probe right there, every, you change those two parts, the computer will do everything else for you. So with one platform, you could buy four different barrels and have four truly standalone guns, one in each caliber, just by using the computer and changing out the barrel. It'll still read, tell you how fast the projectiles are going, and it'll still allow you to dictate that velocity if you choose to do that. Um, so futuristic is an understatement for the Delta Wolf. It is almost unbelievable, in my opinion. I, I never thought that I would get to the point where I could tell the pellet how fast I want it to go, but here I am holding the tool that allows me to do that. So this is the future of Day State. The Delta Wolf is about as cool as it gets, in my opinion. It, it does not get much cooler than this in terms of technology and air guns. So if you're someone who likes the idea of an electronic gun, but you don't like the idea of being limited to three power settings, that is where the Delta Wolf comes into play. It is newer than the Red Wolf in terms of technology, and they give you, the end user, a lot more ability to manipulate different things. The Red Wolf gives you high, medium, and low. This gun gives you the ability to fine tune the hammer, how long, it, how long the solenoid hits the hammer, how long it dwells on the hammer, and how much force it hits that hammer with. So it gives you, to minute detail, the ability to go in and adjust all three of those parameters, which will all have an effect on how the projectile's launched. They give you the power to manipulate this gun. So if you're, like I said, if you want to tinker, the Delta Wolf is the gun that you can maybe even find out something better than the factory did. You, you have the power to manipulate this gun however you want. In this video, we just scratched the surface on what Daystate has to offer. If you find yourself wanting more, please do check out. We have tons of videos that you can look at, reviews. I think I've done an in-depth review of every single gun in front of you here. Um, so check out that stuff. There'll be links in the description. Along with that, there's aftermarket accessories, moderators, um, butt pads, uh, extended rails. The, the list goes on and on. So this is just a very shallow look at what's available. If you wanna really get into it and jump in with both feet, check out airgunsofarizona.com. There's aftermarket accessories, there's gear, there's everything that you could possibly want. So there it is. That is a quick look at every single model available from Daystate, who makes the world's finest and most powerful air rifles on the market. And hopefully it helped you answer some questions and maybe decide better which gun might be right for you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, subscribe, follow us on YouTube, Facebook, anywhere you can, and keep an eye out on YouTube for more videos just like this. Thanks a lot.